I think that the gallery is a cultural part of the community and the public comes in and is asking questions and they're seeing the artwork new. It's like reading a great poem, hearing a great song for the first time. But when you get people together in a room, seeing artwork for the first time to support something as great as Cascade AIDS Project, then the energy really builds. We're so indebted to artists and other art professionals who have experienced HIV and AIDS. And uh, it's, it's really inextricable from, from the arts and this gallery. And uh, every year we do shroud a piece of art in uh, a black cloth in recognition of uh, a day without art for uh, World AIDS Day. That's uh, just part of our, one of our traditions here. In the mid 80s, I was in my early 20s and I was finally coming out of the closet. And I moved into this shared apartment with people I didn't know at this small university in North Texas and they found out I was gay. They threw all of my stuff out on the curb and they doused it with Lysol. They said I had put them at risk of giving them AIDS. The perception that someone is filthy because they're gay or might be HIV positive is so sad and motivating. And so of course it was a no brainer when I moved to Portland and I found out about Cascade AIDS Project, of course I was going to put my effort behind it. Participating in the art auction uh, is a really fantastic feeling to see all of the artists who have donated the people who are bidding on the art, and people from the community that CAP serves, the, the recipients of the services that those donations help fund. It's just such a great, warm feeling. It's like the warmest community in Portland. Being part of the preparation, like wrapping the artwork, talking to the artists about which piece would they consider donating, picking a piece, working with the art handlers that are picking it up, going on site when it's being installed, being a part of all of that organizing and legwork. It's exciting in Portland because I still get to meet new friends and have new conversations that uh, will help make my life in Portland better. And I'll have to say my favorite experience is when it goes way more than what it is selling for here in the gallery. Just because what a morale boost for CAP and the artists, an affirmation to the work CAP does, an affirmation to the work the artist does, and that's inspiring to me. One aspect of what CAP brings to the community that's so important is that very sense of community and letting people know that they're not alone, they don't need to be isolated, and uh, that there are lots of other wonderful human beings that are in the same boat as they are, and that nobody's alone in this. Nobody has to be. I have friends that died alone in hospitals because their family shut them out of all of their friends, and they died without love and without affection and dignity. And thankfully, those days seem to be in the past for HIV and AIDS, but it teaches us a good lesson for today. So don't let that history lesson go unreckoned. I'm really proud to be a part of Froelich Gallery. And I am, one thing I'm particularly uh, proud of is my role in sort of shaping what we do donate to CAP every year and the sort of work that the community and uh, people who attend the auctions and events uh, see from Froelich. And it is a statement of values and a statement of support and love and community.